starting here again to go over this in detail. Map search, very important. Dowsing breakthroughs, eating right, sigh and nourishment for the body and soul. Um, so you've got this entire, um, shows you how to uh, use a pendulum, the one that's provided with your pyramid. And it goes into pyramid power. Now, that's an interesting and new way. Uh, you don't see that anywhere else. Experiments with pyramid power, sense cards. And here's those unusual cards that we were looking at and how you use them. Um, and, the, and there's ways of using cards. Now, uh, there's a whole bunch of ways of using cards other than the very boring way that Ryan taught everybody. Um... I can see through walls, clairvoyance, precognition. That uh, shows you how to concentrate. Seeing by feeling, psychometry games and ESP. So, I mean, it's all in here. That's why I, I so highly recommend this in particular, because it's all here. It teaches you everything you need to know uh, telepathy in color, adventures with uh, psychokinesis, PK. So move this here. Winning at 7 Eleven using side dice and the cups. And of course, there's the actual uh, cups. Here's the dice. And again, it goes in. And you know, these are like a uh, about a third of a page. And, um, so it gets right to metal bending through psychokinesis preparation, how to do everything. It shows you how to hold the fork when you're trying to bend it. Metal bending procedures. I mean, how cool is this? I mean, there's a few of great things here. And of course, we have several of these kits here that um, we have... Um, shown that really have this in it. There's a Yuri Geller kit that has uh, all this kind of training in it in the back, but uh, not as cool as this, uh, but it's still very good. And of course it goes into, you know, sometimes you're not great. Winning is, um, nothing is working today. Trust. True psychic impressions versus mental noise. Or how do I know if my intuition is talking to me? So, uh, it covers everything. Here we go. It talks about children. Skeptics and dumb bunkers. You know, if you're having problems, you know, a lot of times, you know, should you take a break? Feeling overwhelmed? Are you too stressed out? You've been pushing yourself? Uh, it talks about the audio cassette that comes with this. Um, and of course, as I've said here, uh, side B is metal bending, mind over matter. And as you said, we get you a digital um, clip of that. Uh, many have the actual CD uh, included with the kit. It depends uh, what you have. But for your own sake, um, we already do that for you because kind of tape decks are history. Um, nobody uses it anymore. But, you know, we go into that... Um, here it talks about uh, the actual inventor, Oscar, and I always find that interesting. Again, if you think this is some sort of toy or some um, nobody. So he holds a bachelor's degree in psychology from Duke University, a master's degree in clinical transpersonal psychology uh, from West Georgia College, and a postgraduate specialization in ent... ent Ethnopsychology from Emory University, sponsored by the Organization of American States. Um, his long involvement in parapsychology be began at the age of 18 in his native country of Peru. So he's a Peruvian. And where he studied with South American authorities on psychic development as a founding member of the Peruvian Institute of Advanced Psychic Studies. He was introduced... Uh, 
uh, as a uh, founding member of the, he was introduced to the work of G Dr. Rhine, father of American parapsychology, whose research he sought to replicate under controlled laboratory conditions. In 1970, Oscar moved to the United States and obtained an associate degree in microbiology from Mitchell College. Still deeply influenced by his long-standing passion for parapsychology and exploration of human consciousness, um, he transferred to Duke University, that's where Ryan, and studied under J.B. Ryan at the Foundation for Study of the Nature of Man and the participation in various research projects uh, with Dr. William R. Roll, director of the uh, Psychological Research Foundation, um, both in Durham, North Carolina, where Duke is. Oscar has presented the results of his extensive investigations uh, into psi and human growth potential at numerous national and international conferences and symposiums and has been featured on both national and international radio. So... dealing with psychic, spiritual, though, to develop, to respond to the growing need for objective and scientifically grounded information concerning, uh, concerning uh, spontaneous psychic experiences, together with Dr. Roll and Moody and Aaron. They founded the Parapsychological Services Institute in Carleton, Georgia. He currently conducts seminars in the area of psychospiritual development and is a and is in pract in private practice as a psychotherapist in West Palm Beach. He lives in Del Rey Beach, Florida with his wife Liz and daughter Andrea. So you can see that this is just not some a goofball. It's amazing that people, of course, this is many years ago. Uh, I do think he's still active somewhere, but I'm not sure. I thought I saw something that he was producing, but um, he must be up there now. Because um, this was 1994. So you're talking about um, you know, almost 30 years ago. Um, and in the back, there's a glossary. Your common terms. This was produced by a company in uh, Vancouver, which I'm assuming is no longer. You can't get these. They've been um, out of uh, print for many years. Again, who knows how well these sold. You occasionally can see these pop up in different places. Uh, but let's look at how many pages is this. So you're looking at, and most of it, uh, it's not even that many technically, but it's about 75 pages in this half pages, if you want to give it that much. Um, in this complete booklet here, it teaches you everything you need to know about psychic empowerment with tools to do the um, psychic pumping of iron. You got to pump, pump psychic iron, I keep telling people. It's all in this little book. This is all you really need to start developing things. Um, it gives you the uh, practical steps to do that and all the tools and gives you a basic introduction. You don't need anything else uh, generally than something like this. Now, we have lots of tools and I do recommend people getting as much as they can because it's very important to keep this fresh. The miniature consciousness um, gets bored is when you start losing empowerment. So the more tools you have, the better. But this is a fantastic tool that gets you going uh, with one of the areas that everybody loves to do, and that's metal bending. And um, we are coming out with our own kits in the future, but here it is. It's ready to go. You get dice. You get unique cards. You learn how to use pendulums in a, in a unique way with a pyramid. Uh, you get your L rods, so you can kind of go out to, um, you can even test your own yard, your house. Do you have power spots? Well, you may have power spots in your own house, on in your own property. But, you know, this is what you take out to vortexes and other power areas to see if you can find unusual um, energy sources. You know, people have done this for uh, centuries now, really, finding water that way. So, um, uh, by using L-Rods, and this has worked extremely well, and uh, 
Uh, what people don't know is that uh, people are doing this today, making lots of money finding water, and it's a very common practice instead of hiring very expensive um, people to go out and use the science on it. You get a good dowser, he finds water almost 100% of the time. It's quite shocking and exciting. So this is one of those great kits. There's um, uh, the other one, of course, is the Paris Science Book Kit, which is another amazing, wonderful tool people should get. All these things are disappearing, people. These are 20, 30 years old. The prices are skyrocketing. And what's even worse is that they're very difficult to find. So if you find one of these, and we usually have one or two in stock, um, grab them while you can and get as many occult gym, mind gym tools as you can. That's the key to everything. Everybody wants the secret word, the secret thinking you do. It's none of that. It's all about getting your mind in a power state, which is called centering, and then pumping psychic iron. Do the practices, put the energy in, and you will find how successful and fascinating. And the things about this is you see results right in front of you. This is not something you have to wait for. This is something you see right away, right in front of you. You get to see your results. And, um, you know, like with everything in life, some days are good, some are bad. Uh, as I said, if you follow my teaching methods of do things at high enthusiasm for short periods of time. That means you practice something, you work with these tools for like 10, 15 minutes, you're done. Move on. Even if you want to go longer, stop. And repeat it often. You want to, you still feel good? Well, come back in a few hours. Do it again. And this is what works. Um, the problem is you, uh, you are trying to do advanced technological and consciousness work um, thinking in the old way that you've been told by stupid teachers, idiot professors, and in general. This is not a physical skill that you have to concentrate on for hours and hours. And I'm not sure that works either. You know, they found that people who uh, take tests and stay up all night and cram and cram and cram do a lot worse than someone that says, hey, look, I, I do a little study, and then I go to bed and wake up uh, fresh. <clears throat> that is how the mind really works and not um, this pushes us, especially when it comes to this area because this is not traditional. This is not traditional learning in any way. And even traditional learning, I think, if people did uh, things when they were fresh and excited, and uh, at a high state of concentration, you gain a lot more of it. Well, you're a craftsman. You're going to have to spend four or five. Do you really learn when you're that tired? Are you getting breakthroughs? Or are you just making more and more errors and building up negative thoughts towards the process of whatever you're making, building, or learning? Well, that's what's really happening. If you go in positive, out positive, and um, do things at high enthusiastic levels often for short periods of time, it never fails to work. And as I said, this gives you an entire course. Here's the whole course, all in one. You don't need much more than this for, for basic techniques of things. Uh, of course, we have all kinds of books that give you pure psychic techniques from the, the psychic master, uh, Kenyatta Long. And of course, our books are empowered, so you're getting, and there's lots of other tools that once you get the basic understanding and you get the energies flowing, you can move into very high empowered tools and use them at a very high level, like our amulets, our scalar disks, and of course, the different machines we have that produce all kinds of energies. So it's all there. Um, but if you don't center yourself, and we have a great book on that, you don't do occult gym practices, you are not going to succeed, plain and simple. So make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, check our links below so you can go directly to our product page that has this and others. And watch for lots more exciting vintage and, of course, new tools that IGOS is creating.
Until next time.